guys, it's Leslie Tao here and welcome to my YouTube. Now today I'm going to tell you a story, a true story, on how I was able to make 400% ROI in under 24 hours. Before we start, I'll be super grateful if you can click the subscribe button or the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now, this is a true story. I was actually attending an event in London and this hall was absolutely packed. Now think of it as a hall in terms of where people are getting their tickets meeting their friends, um, buying their food and their drinks, and there were some other like cool little stores around. So a really busy area, and there were people going, leaving, so really, really busy. Um, but what happened was a random guy, let's just call him Mr. X for now, approached me to ask whether I had five pounds available in five pound coins. If you're from the US, that's the equivalent to just under seven dollars. Now usually guys, I don't carry much cash around with me at all. And these days I use Apple Pay. So I don't really actually carry my wallet that much, it's just my phone, so I can do Apple Pay when I'm checking out. Do you guys do the same? If so, let me know below. Anyway, so usually, just to avoid you know, having to dig through getting my wallet out, I would have just said uh, um, no. But there's something about Mr. X, you know, in terms of how he was looking at me. He looked a little bit desperate, to be honest. And I thought, what the hell, let's just have a hunt around. So I dug around in my big bag, found my oversized wallet. Those of you who know me know I like big wallets. And had to unzip the bloody thing where we usually put the coins um, to have a look around. Now, I did happen to have five shiny one pound coins there. So I was able to give Mr. X the five pound coins. So I said, here you go, dropped the money into his hand. And I actually wasn't expecting anything in return. Um, but you know, Mr. X had the biggest smile on his face and um, he actually gave me a five pound note in exchange for the five pound coins I gave him. So that was nice, you know. So as we were parting ways, um, I think he had gone by then, but I was just concentrating on shoving my big wallet back into my bag. So I was hobbling around on one leg, trying to balance as you do. And um, suddenly I felt a tap on my shoulder and it was Mr. X again and he was waving a 10 pound note. So if those of you from the US, that's around $13.77, so just under $14. So he's waving this 10 pound note in my face. And before I could say her or no, or what's going on, he shoved the 10 pound note into my hand with a big smile and said, thanks again, then he ran off. So I think um, if you were there, my face was probably a bit like her, huh? a bit astonished. And um, I think I looked around looked at the 10 pound note and um, you know, just was quite surprised. Guys, I literally had just gained 200% ROI in less than five minutes and I wasn't expecting anything back in the first place. Now, the story continues, okay? So the next day, I was attending another event and I was telling my business partner, Trevor Cutmore. So Trevor, if you don't know him, is um, a well-known developer based in the UK. He's recently appeared in Channel 5's Rich House, Poor House. Um, so he, you know, um, he is quite high profile in the building industry anyway. So I was telling him about what happened and I was showing him my five pound note and my 10 pound note from Mr. X. And then suddenly, so so random, he challenged me to eat half a Mars bar. So that's a chocolate bar in case you guys don't know. He had eaten the other half. And if I did so, Trevor was going to give me 20 pounds, which is around 20, $27.55. So 20 pound note in exchange for the 10 pound note Mr. X had given me. Now, this really guys wasn't about the monetary amount, but just having an open mind and I guess saying yes as an opportunity when it presents itself. So in a nutshell, I ate the half of our bar. It was quite good. I think Trevor was trying to tempt me because I was on like a no carb, no sugar kind of bit of diet. So obviously I ruined my diet a little bit then. And um, which, and in terms of monetary amount from the original five pound coins I had given out, which I got 15 pounds back from Mr. X, I now had 20 pounds from Trevor, which I had to exchange for another 10 pounds. So that is about 100% ROI in less than 24 hours. So I'm just trying to total up. So I made 25 pounds basically. It's not that um, a massive amount when I put it into numbers, but in terms of, um, you know, I hadn't, didn't need to do anything for that money apart from just say yes, or have a look in my wallet. Um, 
that was that's the key point really so what is the lesson that i learned from this apart from feeling quite good well firstly it reminds me of this movie you guys might know it it's a quite an old movie called yes man which stars jim carrey the comedian yeah he plays like a very pessimistic and negative loan officer and everything in his life seems to be going wrong so he attended this event like a motivational uh tony robbins type of event and he was covenanted to say yes to everything. Make me believe it! Yes, yes, yes! So that's when his life started to change. He started seizing every opportunity that was coming his way and as a result made some new friends and had some good and bad experiences. But most importantly, I think um, he was living his life to the full and understanding himself more. Plus, so he was learning about himself. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether my synopsis of the movie is correct, but I believe that the message the movie wanted to convey was, is to have an open mind to new and other possibilities. The caveat to this is obviously say no if it's something you don't want to do or it's illegal or it doesn't feel right. Okay, but if someone's gonna challenge you and give you 20 quid for eating half a Mars bar, hopefully you'll say yes to that, unless you, you have like a pre-existing condition that prevents you from doing so, that's bad for your health. So I wanted to share the story, it's a nice short story, but it's one of those feel good memories that I will treasure always. And um, whenever I think about it, you know, it always you know um, makes me smile. So I think that's a good thing. Now, who's got more chocolate bars they want me to eat in exchange for 20 quid? So thank you for listening to today's short story and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.